This video will cover an introduction to the 8th edition of MLA Citation Style. We will focus on formatting a paper. We'll talk about fonts, spacing, headers, and how to set up your title page and works cited page. Papers in MLA format include fonts that are easily readable, such as Times New Roman. Text should be set to a standard size, such as 12-point font. Double-space the entire research paper, including the works cited list. Don't add extra space before or after paragraphs. Use one-inch margins on every side of the page. Align the text of an MLA-style paper to the left margin and leave the right margin uneven. Indent the first line of each paragraph of text a half inch from the left margin. This is automatically done in word processing programs, or you may use the tab key. Also, leave one space after a period or other ending punctuation mark. Let's start formatting the first page of your paper. Insert a page number in the top right corner of your header. In Microsoft Word, go to Insert, Page Number, Top of Page, and select Option 3, which shows the number on the right. You could also double-click the top of the page, which has an option for inserting a page number. Next, add your last name before the page number. This header will be applied to all pages in your paper. To insert a page number in a header in Google Docs, go to Insert, Page Numbers, and select the option that shows the number at the top right of every page. Again, add your last name before the page number. On the first page of the paper, include some basic information about yourself and the paper. Starting on the top left, write your name on the first line. The next line will have the instructor's name, followed by the course number. The date is on the last line of the heading, written in day, month, and year format. These elements should all be double-spaced. On the next double-spaced line in the center is the title of the paper. The title should be in plain text with major words capitalized. Then, on the next double-spaced line, begin your paper. At the end of your paper, the works cited list will be on the last page. Center the words works cited at the top of the page. If the list only contains one entry, make the heading work cited. There should be a double space between the title and the first entry. Works cited are listed alphabetically by the first item that appears in each citation. Citations will be double spaced with no extra spaces between each one. Also, each citation has a hanging indent. This means that the first line of each citation starts at the left margin. If the reference continues onto additional lines, those lines are indented a half inch. Word processing programs usually don't allow for the additional lines to be indented using the tab key, so you will need to select the hanging indent option. In Microsoft Word, select the lines that you want to indent, then go to Line and Paragraph Spacing. Go to Line Spacing Options, then under Indentation, Special, select Hanging. In Google Docs, again select the lines that you want to indent, then go to Format, Align and Indent, Indentation Options, and under Special Indent, select Hanging. For more information on formatting a paper in MLA citation style, you might refer to the MLA style website and Purdue OWL, the online writing lab from Purdue University. These websites provide more details, including sample MLA papers. Remember that librarians are available to assist you during all open hours. Please don't hesitate to contact us.